Hi, this is John with Sysenge Quick, and today I'll show you how to use Pixie Boot to start a Debian installer so that you can install Debian without having a CD image or a USB installer. Pixie Boot is a method for booting from the network using a DHCP and TFTP server, and you'll need an image that you can load from Pixie Boot. So pretty much any modern network card or virtual machine can do Pixie Boot. It's been a standard for many, many years. So let's go ahead and install the packages we'll need to do that. So I already have a Debian installation, and you don't have to have a Debian installation to do this. You only need the DHCP server, the TFTP server, and the Pixie Boot image that you want to use but it's very easy to use an already existing Debian install to do this. We'll install the Debian Installer 9 Netboot AMD64 package and the DNS Mask server, which will be used for our DNS, DHCP, and TFTP server. The other package is our Pixie Boot image. So that is going to be in the user lib Debian Installer images. For our platform and you see there's a GTK and a text installer. You can use either one you like. So the first thing we need to do after doing that is make a link for the serve TFTP directory. So we're going to link to the GTK directory so that serve TFTP goes into that. Now we want to make sure we've got our firewall rule set up because if we don't allow the traffic into our firewall, we won't be able to reach our DHCP and TFTP server. So the first thing we we'll want to do is we're going to want to allow port UDP67 traffic in for DHCP. We're going to want to make sure that we have TFTP traffic coming in from the local LAN. And because this is also a DNS server, we'll need to allow DNS traffic which is on UDP and TCP ports 53. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and configure DNS mask. So there's a dnsmask.com file, which has a lot of the options and a lot of defaults in there. But Debian also has a dnsmask.d directory where we can add local configurations. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to add these lines here. So the interface is where the DNS and DHCP and TFTP servers are listening on. I'm going to use my LAN interface. It will almost certainly be named differently for you, so probably ENP0S3 or something like that. I'm going to use bind interfaces. What this does is it says I only want you to listen on this one interface that I've specified. I don't want you to listen on all the interfaces, which would be the default. If you listen on all interfaces and you have other networks, you may start feeding them DHCP that you don't want. The next line is for our DHCP range. This is just what IP addresses the DHCP server will hand out. So I'm using a range of about 50 IPs right here. So we use it starting at 50, going up 99. Here's our net mask, and one hour is the least time. The next thing is what it will use for the DHCP boot. The first thing is going to be the Pixie boot image. The second thing is largely irrelevant for us. That's the uh, Pixie server, which is just us, so it doesn't really matter for this. Then the next one is where to find the TFTP server. So even though DNS mask is both the DHCP and the TFTP server, the Pixie client won't know that. It needs to be told where to get that. The IP that DNS mask will be running on is my LAN IP, so we give it that address. We need to enable the TFTP service and tell it where the root directory of TFTP is so it can find its images. So if we do all that, we can see that in serve TFTP, there should be a PXE Linux.0 file. And we can see that there is. So we should now be able to run this and then boot up into our Pixie boot. So let's go ahead and restart DNS mask and then we'll just run journal control on DNS mask and see what happens. 
So we're going to go ahead and go over to VM or VirtualBox. And I've got a machine that's set to boot from PXE. So we'll go ahead and start that up. We can see it broadcast for DHCP. It's getting a DHCP lease and it starts the installer. And then we just run the Debian installer like anything else. And that's pretty much all there is to using Pixie Boot to install Debian. Thanks for watching. See you next time.